In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the process on how to properly set the shaft seal on the Grunfoss Medium CR. The Medium CRs are CRs 10s, 15s, and 20s. Anytime you replace either a motor, a cartridge shaft seal, or a stack kit, you need to make sure that you properly set the shaft seal height afterwards to prevent wear and tear on the pump. On the Medium CR shaft seal, there's a tension spring inside the shaft seal that needs to properly be set so that the stack kit is not riding on the bottom of the pump and that it's in proper alignment. Prior to doing any mechanical work on the pumps, we always recommend that you wear the proper PPE safety equipment. So with that, let's get started. On the medium CR, it is possible to replace the shaft seal or set the adjustment without removing both coupling guards, but I found it's much easier when you remove both coupling guards on the pump. So after you remove the coupling guards on the medium CR, underneath one of the coupling guards, you'll find the shaft seal spacer. We'll use this later in the process. I've already removed the rear coupling guard and the coupling prior to this video just to save time. Now on most occasions when replacing a motor, the cartridge shaft seal height is probably already set, but just to ensure that it is, we're going to loosen all three of the set screws. So we'll rotate it to get to the next one. And I've left the pin in the shaft just to make it easier to turn. And make sure anytime you loosen these set screws that you don't loosen them all the way or they may be very hard to find afterwards. So on the medium CR, once you've loosened all of the screws, you want to push down on the shaft to make sure that it's all the way resting on the bottom. And once we're assured that the shaft is resting all the way on the bottom, we're going to go ahead and tighten the set screws according to the torque specifications for the pump. And for this pump, that's two foot pounds or 2.5 Newton meters. So I'll tighten the first one. Rotate the shaft and the seal. Tighten the second one. Rotate the shaft and seal again. And we'll tighten the third. Once all of those are tightened properly, we'll want to install our coupling halves. And you'll make sure at the bottom of the coupling, you have that hole right there where the pin from the shaft goes in. Put on the back half, put on the front half, then we're going to insert the screws on the coupling. We're going to just put those on loosely. We don't want to tighten it over tight at this point yet. Rotate the coupling, insert the other two screws. Once you remove the spacer, we we'll use a screwdriver and we'll lift up the coupling. Then we'll insert the spacer. Now we've inserted the spacer in between the shaft seal collar and the hex nut on the seal. So by doing that, we've now put tension on that spring. So now we can tighten down our coupling the rest of the way according to the torque specifications for this pump. It's very important when you're tightening the coupling that this gap is equal on both sides of the coupling. So we can see that this side's a little wider, so we want to make sure that we tighten this side down equally. Once the gap is equal on both sides, we can remove our spacer. Once that's completed, 
Put your spacer back on your coupling guard. Re-emplace both your coupling guards. And the installation is complete. And we've properly set the shaft height on the medium CR. We hope you've enjoyed this short video, and thank you.